The Apple Watch packs many features and settings even experienced users may not know. The watchOS 11 update released in September for Apple Watch Series 6 and newer added a handful of personalization options. Let's take a look at the Apple Watch settings you might want to change to get the most out of your Apple Watch. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is learn how to customize your activity goals. Apple added the option to customize your stand and exercise goals in 2020. So instead of using the 12 standing hours a day, you can change either of these goals to fit your routine. So the first thing we're going to do is open the fitness app on your Apple Watch, which is right here, and I'll tap on it. And so uh, when you come in, maybe you'll see all of your rings. But if not, if you're on one of the metrics, you'll see that. To change an activity goal, you just push on the plus or minus sign and a couple of options appear. You can change that activity goal just for today if you want to. So if I tap on that and I hit the plus sign, it'll go up by 10 calories and you can adjust it up and down as you see fit. And when you're ready, tap on set. And as you can see, you can do this with each of the metrics. So once we adjust the goals to what we want them to, then it's time to start closing those rings. You also have the option to pause your rings, making it possible to take a break from your goals. Maybe you need a sick day and know you won't meet the goals that you've set, and so you can change that. So let me come out of that notification, and I'm going to go back in to the fitness settings, and here, if I just come back up to where the three rings are, if I just tap on the three rings, you'll see that an option appears that says change goals. And if you go in this way to change the goals, you'd be changing them permanently instead of for the day. Uh, or if I want to, I can pause my rings. So once I touch pause, it'll say here, pause your rings, mute coaching and goal tracking while maintaining your move streak. So you can pause it for today, until Monday, until February, or you can set a custom pause. So if you're not feeling well and need to take a break from closing your rings, go ahead and pause your fitness goals. Another feature you might want to try is low power mode. This preserves battery life by turning off the always-on display, certain sensors, and disabling features such as irregular heart rhythm notifications. I usually turn this on when my watch battery drops to 40%. To turn it on, you'll want to push the digital crown to come into all of your apps, locate the settings app, which is, whoops, I hit the wrong one, which is this cog wheel right there. Tap on that to open it. Make sure that you're on the main settings page. Scroll down until you see battery. Tap battery. You'll see 40% there because I've been burning my battery today on my watch. Then go ahead and just toggle the low power mode on and then turn on. And now you'll be able to save battery life on your Apple Watch. You can also do this by pushing the side button on your watch so that you come into the control center, tap where the battery uh, percentage is located, tap on that, tap on low power mode, tap on turn on, and now you should be able to save battery life using the control center option. If you find yourself filling up your Photos app with screenshots of your Apple Watch, you may be accidentally pressing the digital crown and side button at the same time. So to disable this feature, you'll open the settings app on your watch. So let's go ahead and open the settings app. Then you're going to tap on 
general. So let's locate general. Now we'll scroll down until we see screenshots. Tap on that and then toggle that switch off that enables screenshots. Now those random watch face photos will no longer appear. If you want to add your favorite photos to your watch face, you can choose photos from your phone to set as the background for your watch face. To get started, we're going to open the watch app on the iPhone. So I'm going to come into the app library. I'm going to tap where it says app library. I'm going to type in watch. The watch app appears. I'm going to go ahead and get to that. I am going to tap Face Gallery down at the bottom. And now I'm going to scroll towards the bottom of the screen until I find Photos. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Photos. And here you have the option to uh, choose Shuffle or you can choose the photos. I'm going to tap shuffle and then I'm just going to let this be the options that I pick my favorite photos and I'm going to hit continue and then when I'm ready I can tap add and then those photos will be added to the watch face. If you find that your watch face is going dark more quickly than you would like it to, the default wake setting on the Apple Watch is 15 seconds. And maybe you want to read a longer text message or keep an eye on a timer, but the screen keeps going dark. You can extend the time to 70 seconds by opening the watch app on your iPhone, which I'm already in, and then make sure that you tap on my watch in the lower left corner, then locate display and brightness. And then go ahead and tap on wake duration. And then here you'll just choose 70 seconds. And now your watch face will, be, will remain on a little bit longer. So you have time to read longer messages. Every time you install an app on your iPhone, it will automatically install the Apple Watch counterpart if there is one. This can really clutter up the watch face, making it hard to find the apps you want. To change this, we're going to open the settings on the Apple Watch, or you can do it on your iPhone by opening up the Watch app. But it works the same way. So either using the Watch itself or the Watch app, open Settings, go ahead and locate the App Store, tap on the App Store, and then go ahead and toggle off automatic downloads. Now, if you want to install an individual app on your watch, you'll go ahead and you'll open, we'll come in here to the watch app on the iPhone, and then scroll down and you'll see installed on the Apple Watch. Scroll a little further and you'll find the apps that haven't been installed yet. You can go ahead and tap on install next to the app that you want to place on your Apple Watch. The Apple Watch can be useful for discreetly checking an alert or the time. Loud notifications can defeat the purpose. I use my Apple Watch in silent mode so that I only feel a tap on my wrist when I receive a notification. To do this the easy way, you'll press on the side button of your Apple Watch and that will launch the control center and you just want to tap on this notification that shows the bell. So I'm going to undo it. Tap the notification or the icon that looks like a bell. And now when receiving a notification, you'll only, you'll only feel a tap on your wrist instead of 
an audible alert, and a tap on the wrist. Reading notifications and news headlines can be tough on such a small screen. Luckily, the font size can be increased. To do this, launch the Settings app on your Apple Watch. So I'm going to push the digital crown to come into Settings or Apps, and I'm going to locate the Settings app. I'll tap on that. Now I'm going to scroll down until I see Display and Brightness. Tap on that. Then go ahead and tap on Text Size. Here you can either use the digital crown to increase the size of the text, or you can use the double A and the small double A to increase or decrease the size of the text. Do you have a hard time finding apps in grid view? So if I push the digital crown, I come into grid view and it looks great but it can be really difficult to find an app you want to launch. If you have lots of apps on your watch, it's much easier to locate them in list view where they're in alphabetical order. So to put them in list view, once you come into grid view, just scroll to the very bottom and you'll see the list there, tap on it, and now you'll be able to locate your apps in alphabetical order Anytime you want to go back to grid view, scroll all the way down to the very bottom. You'll see grid view there. Tap on it and you can put your apps right back into grid view. The Apple Watch is packed with features that can make life easier and more enjoyable, especially for seniors. By customizing your settings, you can tailor the watch to fit your lifestyle, enhance accessibility, and save time. Whether it's increasing the font size for better readability, silencing noisy notifications, or extending battery life with low power mode, these tips can help you get the most out of your device. Take a few minutes to explore these settings and you'll find that the Apple Watch becomes an even more helpful companion in your daily life. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.